Morning, y'all. Now watch, it's early. It's Monday, the last Monday of April. Pops is having office hours. Got up early, took the dumpster that we filled together last week down to the road for trash day. Got some more glorious rain. We're measuring just over six inches in the three weeks since Pops put the weather tower up. So we're gonna take every drop and love it because we never get enough rain around here. Anyway. You saw me last week prime this. I need to put some sanding on it and wipe it down and put a second coat of primer, I think, on it. Because today we have doctor's appointments just before lunch and through the afternoon and then have to go to a different town for a pop's haircut. So I got an early start today. Y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work, as somebody says. some of that burn pile cleaned up because I'm just not gonna burn it all. I'm always worried about causing a fire. So I've cut the branches that I had over there left into smaller pieces. I'm gonna run them through my shredder and then I'm gonna go pour the shred, whatever you call that stuff, somewhere. And I hope all of those pieces are gonna fit through the shredder already. I still have more over there, but it's supposed to start raining. I'm waiting. There's a cow, our neighbor's cow. Somehow ended up in my dad's backyard, so it's having a smorgasbord. I kinda gotta wait until the neighbors get home to figure out how they're gonna get their cow out of his yard, through our gate, and all those things. And how he got through their fence. Anyway, green protection, I'm gonna get going. that would fit through here. I'm covered in dirt and gross and burnt ash, but I filled my gorilla cart. The neighbor's texting me. She doesn't think that's her cow, so I gotta go up and see what I'm gonna do about this missing random cow that's here. The gate's been closed. They share a fence. That's why I thought it came from there. Let me go figure this out. I'll catch up with y'all later. Oh my y'all. This city girl just spent an hour wrangling the neighbor's cow home. That poor cow gashed her side. She jumped over, pushed her way over, five strand barbed wire, and then bent the hog wire and got in. She was fat and happy eating and, and fertilizing my dad's yard. And the neighbor came over with his mule and him and I on the four wheeler got her out the property and down towards their driveway, but then she bolted down on the road and so other people had to block the road. And then she eventually busted through her own pasture. So my poor neighbors out there, after working all day, out there mending fences. But she's home, hopefully they can fix her side. She's reunited with her baby. I never in my wildest dreams that I'd be wrangling a cow on a four wheeler on a hot sunny day. But I left you working on the shredding of that cedar tree. I didn't get back to it. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm stinky. It's almost six o'clock. I need a shower, I need supper. Tomorrow, sand the cabinet. Ooh, that's not good, y'all. That is not good. Pretend we didn't see that. We'll look at that tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. I went to the shed, brought my t-shirt scraps down because I got some fabric to make six blankets in the next five weeks. I got some work to do, y'all. Painting, sewing, that's this week's task. Catch you tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is morning. Birds are singing, it's a little overcast, cool. And I gotta finish cleaning up that burn pile over there because we're expecting rain. It didn't come last night, but it is coming today. I also have to work on that cabinet face. I'll paint that this afternoon when it gets hot. I need to touch up the paint in the bathroom walls. So when Pops gets home tomorrow at some point, this weekend he plans on putting that cabinet face on. So I need to get the, the wall paint touched up. Need to get this cleaned up before the rain comes. And hopefully we have some people coming out giving us some estimates on the driveway problem. So, lot to do today. Let's get to work.
video. Made our big pile bigger. Gonna rent a ginormous shredder at some point this summer. Uh, my dad already hauled off two of our 16 foot trailer loads to the county wood dump place. He said it was like 135 bucks. When we lived in the previous county, we could take it for free, but we don't have that in our current county and that's okay because our taxes are lower. So when we need the dump, I'd rather pay it as I need it than extra to be wasted. I did some tree trimming. I need to do a lot more, but I think the pole saw when Pops gets that fixed is gonna be the best option or somebody shimmying up the trees and I ain't shimmying up no trees. So storm's getting closer. I need to go inside and do some painting. It's Wednesday, so I gotta get some painting done and then shower up and clean up and get ready for church. So let's get inside. Back to work. doing yard work this morning. Did the first coat of blue paint on the door cabinet, base plate for the bathroom cabinet, whatever that's called. And then I started organizing for t-shirt blankets. I have six different fleeces over there on the coffee table. I got out all of our t-shirt blanket boxes, kind of sorted them. So I'm doing six kids. I need 12, 12 by 12 inch squares per kit that could be 12 decorated or some decorated some blank i'm going to have to supplement blank because i literally i have 25 girl ones i can use i pulled some more shirts out of our closet that i can supplement if i need to but i have that full box of blanks and some are fun they're splatter paint and beautiful colors so i'm gonna do girls six blank and six printed shirts and then these are the boys options so i have 10 cut already and two i can cut to make one boy and then i have these 15 and a half inch squares already cut and then another shirt that can be added to it so i was trying to do three 12 inch squares across four down which is what the girls and one boy will be the boy that gets the bigger pieces i'm gonna have to decide what size that's gonna be or if i need to do borders or something so it's still gonna be essentially the same size it'll be close it also depends on the width of lease i bought i think they're all 58 to 60 inch wide so i gotta figure that out as i get to each blanket but i'm feeling pretty good because this is i'm going to be able to go from three boxes of cut shirts down to one for me and pops to share which is aggie mom and dad shirts and then our daughter's two boxes of leftover aggie shirts can all go into one box and i pulled a lot of her shirts but i kept very special ones because i still have two more blankets to make for her at some point a year ago i showed you the leopard fur that i bought i already have those pinned on that fur that i haven't sewn on yet plus i have what's in here and then i have the big box of blanks and some other things so that's as far as I'm getting today. It's Wednesday. I've got to shower and wash my hair and get ready for church today. Pops comes home tomorrow. So I'm gonna to have to do probably in the morning or stay late tonight, stay up tonight and kind of decide who goes where and what. But sewing probably won't happen till next week. But you know, you gotta start somewhere. See y'all later. Hey y'all, there's my fleece. There's my shirts in that box. And on the bench are blanks and like whole backs that I can cut to whatever shape if I need it to be a big shirt or a little shirt. And yeah, I have six weeks. But once I get it all organized, it'll go together quick. I'm picking up Pops today from the airport. Next week, he's gonna be flying all week again. So I think if I have it all laid out, I can just whip it all together unless I screw up and have to rip seams. Let's get to work. It's time for me to head to the airport. I got all six patterns laid out, matching shirts for the girls' blanks all laid out. The boys I need to cut and maneuver, but I can't do any of that until I have the fleece laid out when I get to each blanket. So the hard part's over. Now I just need to assemble them all. I got the fleece, 
with kids approved. They got their fleece that they liked. I wanted to be personalized, not just old people shirts. I wanted it to be like a. All right, y'all. Time to do a little steel wool. Coat number two. Feeling better than with that white stuff. Maybe it's that kind of paint. I don't know. We're gonna go with it. Let's get it done.